In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to change the branch in Vercel. This process is essential for those of you looking to update or modify the branch where your production deployments are triggered from. Whether you're working on a team or handling projects solo, adjusting which branch triggers production builds can make a significant difference in your workflow efficiency. So, let's dive in and walk through the steps together. First, start by opening your Vercel dashboard. Once you're logged into the dashboard, you'll see a list of all your projects. Go ahead and select the specific project that you want to adjust. This step is crucial because each project might have its own configuration, especially if you're dealing with multiple repositories or projects under the same account. After selecting the project, direct your attention to the Settings tab. Navigating here is essential as it houses all the critical configurations you can customize for your project. Within the Settings tab, you'll be focused on the Environments or Git section, also sometimes referred to as Git Integration. This is where you'll find all settings related to branches and build triggers. Now, within this section, you'll discover the Production Branch field set. This area is particularly important because it lets you specify which branch Vercel should monitor for production builds. By default, this might be set to your main branch or a default branch based on your repository's initial setup. However, Vercel offers flexibility to change this as needed. Here, you have a few options to consider. You can choose the main branch, which is typical for the majority of projects. This is especially useful if your main branch is the one that always represents the latest stable code. Alternatively, you might want the production branch to be your repository's default branch. This is convenient if your team or your workflow regularly expects changes on a designated branch. Moreover, if your developmental cycle involves another branch, like develop, or any custom branch for that matter, you can select it as well. This option is particularly valuable if you're running multiple development lines or managing feature-based workflows. Vercel accommodates those by allowing virtually any branch of your choice. Once you've made your selection and you're satisfied with the changes, don't forget the final step. Click the Save button. By doing this, any future pushes to the branch you've set will now create production deployments. This simple action completes the process and ensures Vercel's deployment pipeline is aligned with your chosen branch. By following these steps, you can efficiently manage which branches trigger production in Vercel, enabling streamlined deployments and maintaining control over your project's build processes. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.